guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 15 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So, gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Did you guys go get it? Oh. So then what the heck made y'all get into a fight? Hmm? What's this Julie Puff looking thing? Oh. <laughs> Is she gonna like the the thing, the jigglypuff looking thing, girl? <laughs> stop! Please stop! <laughs> oh, child, are you serious? This is probably the reason why they're gonna have a big fight, aren't they? Oh my god, please don't let that be it. I swear to god if it is. You know, it's still sad that we're not going to see the fourth cure until, like, several episodes from now. But, like, all her ish is all on the internet. <laughs> the promo pictures of her. Um, the BA announced several months ago. Like, not even several months ago. Like, a month ago, I believe. So, it kind of sucks. I mean, mm, if this show didn't get delayed. And they're even like, they, they push the movies back to, oh my, this is just a weird year. I can't believe like, I freaking, ah, he's pretty, cut my eyes, you baby. <laughs> oh my god, you know, I can't believe this show. Do you think he wants juice? <laughs> Look at her little roller in her hair. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh, it's a <laughs> It's cute in a weird way. It looks like, you know, it's the almost close to the evolved form of Jigglypuff that got announced like years ago when I was like 
in elementary school still watching Pokemon. Only rabbit you would think it's cute. <laughs> And that's what you want, right? <laughs> but still, wondering. We're six minutes in. What triggers this fight? <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Did you see her? How it's made. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Yay. Look how happy Ravity is. Oh, damn. This is how they're going to fight over this? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, you know what this remind me of? Simple here. When he became <laughs> cool, had they fight? Mm. Oh, God.
keeping the latte for you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a heebie heebie goof. I mean, you haven't seen Sip of Gear? Go watch that show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. You're just that. We've all been there. We've all had a fight with a friend, and it sucks. Mm -hmm. No, really, she didn't. It's more Ravi's fault because the fact is she lied about it. And said, no, I didn't want this. I don't like it. Only really to agree with. Mm. Mm. I mean, guys, you gotta remember, she a girl, and she gonna like things that are cute relatively to her. Just because you two think it's weird and she thinks it's cute, I mean, it's funny. I am happy we are getting the Kobayashi ish today because I've missed this boy. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> he's just so pretty. No, my god. That's some weird legs. I, I mean,. Somebody had to say it because I mean, come on, did you see them legs? <laughs> What's Robert? Like, this is this is also a moment from Simple Gear. I mean, she can't transform without Rabbitine. Come on, Rabbitine. Honestly, I thought that wasn't going to work because the fact is they didn't settle their differences. But it's interesting how we're just going into the transformation. So maybe um, something might happen. Where There you go. Because I was about to say.
You're not out there. And you guys are still angry at each other. And you need to sort it out within these next five minutes. It out. Say you're sorry. Do it for puppy. Oh. Listen to puppy. Listen to Lante. Oh my god. Do you get? <laughs> There you go. Please remember that special bond forever and always. Like, I mean, oof. Is it me or does this fight went by super duper fast? I mean, because of the fact is most of it was focused on Haruka, did I just say Haruka? Nadoka and Ravine's fight and them apologizing to each other, but still. <laughs> because the fact is, yeah, we're 20 minutes in and we only have like, what, two minutes left before this episode's over, but I mean. Mm -hmm.
There you go. Now you both have one. <laughs> mm, honestly, no. You're going to fight about something. Whether it's with your friend, significant other, family members, whoever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a good episode. I enjoyed it a lot for, honestly, a fight episode with arguments and everything. I mean, as I said last week, I, was, I kept wondering, like, what Pretty Care was going to do, specifically what was Total Animation going to do, because... Typically, in every Magical Girl series that I have seen, um, there's either one or two episodes where um, comrades do fight. I mean, Star Trek will be together. How many moments did we have between Hikaru and Lala arguing over something that, like, maybe to me was, like, stupid? But to them, it was important. It, it's just, it happens to everybody. I do kind of want to go a little... Um, on spoiler territory on why I think it's similar to simple simple gear, but I'm gonna wait until um I'm gonna wait for a couple minutes because <laughs> just in case people want to skip past it. But yeah, I liked it. It's sweet that in the end they both got one of them and they can share that moment of that. Yeah, they took six whole days just to get these two things. Technically in the end, twelve days to get like two plushies. I mean, I th what I was assuming that the guy who made the tea and the little plushie, he would have gave him three, and then their next visit, three, and then on their third visit, bam, you get it for free. <laughs> I'm just saying. No. <laughs> That's A. Because mm -hmm. B didn't have... Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that I want to say about it is, I mean, it, it's not, it wasn't bad for an argument episode, but like comparing it to maybe some other pretty cure episodes in the past, and you're trying to see which one did it better, and then you gotta really go in to see, like, especially with Star Twinkle, because Star Twinkle had like, what, two, three episodes where Lala and Hikaru were fighting over something, and then going back to maybe like, um, what was before start? Oh my God. No. With the baby. What was the name of that pretty good show? I can't think of it. Oh my God. Um, the one with the baby. And then before that, it was what's his face. But okay. Let me go a little in depth on why I think it's so similar um, to Simple Gear. So I'm going to go ahead and say this now. This is spoilers for maybe, I believe, I want to say like the final season of Simple Gear and what happened in the show and it's like that. So if you do not want to know what happens in the final season of Simple Gear, go ahead and stop the video right now. Maybe go watch Simple Gear and then eventually come back for everybody else. You know, I have told you, I've warned you. If you want to just go ahead and sit and listen, I'm not going to get too, too spoilery, but I will say some things. But yeah. It is what it is. If you want to know, you want to know. If you don't, go ahead and stop now. Okay, so in the final season of Simple Gear, there's a moment where um, Awayuki's character, Kibiki, and what I like to say, her girlfriend, um, Miku, 
uh, had a fight over um, something to me that was like, it was really important to both of them, but because of the fact is the way the episode had ended with Miku, you know, getting kidnapped and Hibiki is like, uh, their last like talk before Miku got kidnapped was just saying, you know, we're going to talk about it later on. Like, it's, it's not going to be now, but once we defeat these and you go with um my other child and hang out with her and be safe until I get there, then eventually we're going to talk about it. And so when the episode ended and when we found out that Miku got kidnapped, same thing with um Elf getting kidnapped at the same time, you're looking at Hibiki and you're like, oh my God, like you two just didn't really get to talk talk. I mean, the funny thing is they don't get to really talk, talk about their feelings until the last episode of the final season. So I, I like till this day, I really wish as someone who recently just finished that show and um, as like what other people have told me um, about it and such. And the fact is that they're going to be having this like, I don't know if it's a confession or something. Somebody told me it's something where they're going to bring the whole entire cast of the show and they're gonna talk, and it might be announced at an OVA or something's gonna come. Um, the way the show ended, they literally were like kind of confessing to each other that yeah, they want to be in a relationship with each other. But I was like, hold up, wait, 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 wait. Time out for like one freaking second. Y'all didn't. We didn't even get to see you guys talk, talk. And when I mean talk, talk, you're you're sitting there concluding your argument that you guys had episodes ago, and then apologizing to each other, moving on from it as friends, eventually going into a relationship as a couple. And that really pissed me off. I was just sitting there like, are you serious? Are we really going to end the show like this without this and then without them confessing to each other? So big hopes and prayers that this show gets an OVA. I, I would just love for Spooker to get something because it would just be so messed up if the show ended like that and then we get to this thing where the whole entire cast comes. And there is no announcement of an OVA. And then you're just sitting here pissed as hell. And you're just like, I, I but there's still a lot of unanswered questions with it. It also kind of reminds me of um, one of my favorite shows that I just recently watched last night. Um, and how her, the, one of the characters named Sutton got into an argument um, with her fiance, not her fiance, her husband about not wanting to have kids. And they had a really big argument over it. And in the end, um, her, I'm about to say fiance again, her husband ends up leaving her. And so that's another fight. And that can sometimes issue in whoever is in a relationship, them leaving you for good and never wanting to be with you again. And sometimes you can find a way to make up from that. And then the other times you can't, it just depends on that person and how big that problem is. I mean, this problem in this episode was merely like mediocre compared to the um, situation of Hibiki and Miku from Sinfo Gear and then Richard and Sutton from The Bold Type because those are like two different fights as well. I mean, having an argument about, I don't really remember what they specifically thought about in Sinfo Gear, I have to go back and look, but having really having an argument about not wanting to have children in The Bold Type episode, like that, I mean, that broke me a lot. I mean, Jesus Christ. But, I mean, this was a really good take on a fight. I, I don't know where I would put it for fights, in a way. It's interesting that, yeah, because it was something that Rabbity really, really loved and cared about. And because she was so passionate about it. And then, in the end, you know, having friends and that peer pressure coming up. And be like, no, like, mm -mm, I don't like it. It happens to, to, like, everybody. But, at the end of the day, in my opinion, if you like something that someone else doesn't like, Stay strong about it. Don't hide it, not only from yourself and others, because eventually you're going to start believing your lies. I mean, how, you know, most of us, when we were kids, we all got bullied for liking anime and now anime is cool and such and it's mainstream as hell. But like, if you like me, how I did it, I was very hesitant to bring anime um, to some of my friends unless they already knew about it because not everybody is into anime or like they... They think it's a certain, they think it's just a kid, like cartoons and stuff. Like, it's just for kids. And you're sitting here like, no, it's not. <laughs> and you have to explain. Like, I, I had to kind of explain to my mom about it eventually. And so now this is the person, my mother's the type of person who really loves the crap out of Death Note. 
And I, I showed her Danganronpa, and we're still currently watching that. We just finished watching um, Japan Sink Sinks like a couple of nights ago. And so now she looks at it in a different perspective. And so it's sometimes a little harder to get other people in it. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 15 of Feeling Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 16. Bye, guys.